Bunny, and I haven't been feeling it too well for oh, about the last almost 48 hours. I didn't know if I would get a video out again today or not because of the editing and the filming and the doing everything all in one day and I'm still not feeling all that great. But I thought, oh, why disappoint for two days when you can tell a fascinating and harrowing saga of the last many hours of my life. So I thought I'd entertain you with a slightly bizarre tea vlog instead. Even though I'm not even drinking tea, this is like cherry coke today. I'm just, the world is strange. Sippy sippy anyway. Um. <coughs> it's because it's not tea. Poisoned! For those of you guys who have been around for a long time or just a little while, I don't remember quite when the last time I mentioned this was, but I do have, you know, moderately severe anxiety and panic attacks sometimes. And like sometimes I can still just like function with it. And sometimes it's just like your life stops now. Unfortunately, my anxiety don't care if it's vlogoween or not. I feel horrible and then just, I don't know. I just should never promise video every single day for a month because like it's just I don't know I my life is unpredictable and I don't know if other people with anxiety kind of go through this but it's like you look at yourself outside of yourself and you're like what am I doing right now and why can't I stop this insane behavior sometimes like when I'm having a really bad panic attack I start like just like cleaning or something like I became fixated on cleaning toilets and I was cleaning like like all six of the toilets and like scrubbing all of the toilets and then like I was done with the toilets and then I didn't know what to do next and I almost wanted to knock on my neighbor's door and be like can I clean your toilets but I thought maybe that would be really unwelcome and something that maybe I shouldn't do and then like there was a period of time where I was like well if I just keep walking I'll feel better and so I was like walking around and around and around my neighborhood like barefoot and I just and then I was like did I catch a disease from this I don't know it's just been insane it all started like in the middle of the night not like this night that we just had but like in between like Monday and Tuesday I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this horrible headache and I can't really take Advil on an empty stomach and so I decided to make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is that a person back there little people I thought I saw people. Oh, it's just a people mirage. I thought it was like children back here, but guess not. So I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I ate it really quick and like took the medicine and like, so oh, sometimes when I take medicine, I'm afraid of like swallowing pills because I choked on a pill once and now I don't know. So then like I ate the peanut butter and jelly and I took the Advil, but like after that, I think it was just like, cause I was half asleep and I had like the feeling of peanut butter in my throat, but I could not go back to sleep. And I think that that's what set me off because I started panicking really bad that there was like peanut butter stuck in my throat or like one of the pills went down my windpipe the fear became like just mind-numbingly it like I felt like if I fell asleep or laid back down that I was just gonna asphyxiate and die from eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich which now doesn't sound logical at all but like in the moment at like 3 30 a.m. it was like reality and I was like don't lay down you're gonna die oh la, 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 la. Death by peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I shouldn't joke about that because it probably has happened. <laughs> Somebody save me from my own brain. And it was just all over from that point on. I just like gargling with Listerine and pacing about my house. And then I finally like started to feel better and I went back to sleep. And then I had like horrible, horrible nightmares. Literally, I've been on this stretch ever since I went to Walt Disney World. Like my first night there, I started having like really, really weird, vivid nightmares. And now it doesn't matter like what I'm doing. Like if I'm like just trying to take a nap or like sleep all night or just it doesn't matter it, I try and fall asleep on the couch or in my bed it doesn't matter like I'm just having like really horrible nightmares like I'll take a nap for like 15 minutes and I'll just start having like really horrible nightmares it is crazy do any of you guys have a cure for nightmares I've tried like eating on going to bed not eating on going to bed like drinking and not drinking on going to bed 
and like walking so I'm like doing a little exercise or like taking a hot shower and I've run out of like combinations to solve this nightmare problem. I'm so sorry I've just been like a real mess like pacing and walking and like driving around town and scrubbing toilets and having nightmares and that's like been my life. I am really gonna try and feel better and do a fun little vlogoween video for you guys this afternoon. Kind of like a crafty type thing but I probably obviously won't have the chance to edit that until like later tonight or tomorrow so I knew I wouldn't have a video up in time unless I just did like a vlog type sort of thing. I just wanted to big time thank you guys for your concern because even if I'm not tweeting or posting on Instagram or making videos or anything like that I'm still reading what you guys write to me every single day and I know a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments on Instagram and everything and being like where are you are you okay so I really 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 appreciate that you guys actually show concern for me when I disappear for like a span of 48 hours plus and it makes me feel like a jerk and I feel like a failure because I did mess up vlog a ween but I'm just trying to get back on track and it is what it is. I know a lot of you guys have anxiety and stuff too. So at least I'm not alone in this journey and neither are you. So I thought I would at least come on here and explain myself and uh, say I'm sorry that I missed a day. I'm starting to feel a little bit better and talking to you guys is making me feel a little bit better. So I'm sure that I'll be like as good as new by later tonight or tomorrow. And I hate like feeling bad when the weather is so nice outside and you just want to like frolic but like you don't feel like frolicking too much I don't know so anyway look, look like I'm like a fish now Ooh. Ooh. I am going to depart for the rest of the day and get it together and come back full swing with, with vlogoween back on track tomorrow and I love you guys so much and seriously thank you for the constant support and checking on me and trying to make sure if I'm okay I really 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 appreciate it more than I will ever be able to properly say uh, so thank you guys so much for sticking by me and I hope I didn't disappoint too too bad uh, so I will pick up with the tutorials and the fun stuff and a mail vlog uh, within the next few days and that is it for me today so I love you guys so much and I will see y'all tomorrow I hope y'all are doing well and taking care and take care of yourselves okay I keep seeing like a little like child back there there's no child though I don't know maybe it's like a squirrel so many squirrels around here lately uh okay I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow bye